welcome to 2024 and to Dossier, where we count down all the biggest games releasing in a given month with hype ratings from both Sifted Editorial and the users of our website at sifted.net. Usually, the year starts off with a whimper, but January has some big time games coming that will help you spend your holiday gift cards. Things start off slow, but really get going at the end of the month. If you're a fan of hyper-challenging 2D platformers like Super Meat Boy, Mamadora Moonlit Farewell should be on your watch list. This is technically the fourth game in the franchise, and there's more to it than just hard platforming sequences. It's designed like a Metroidvania, where you acquire new abilities and then return to previous areas to use them. It's been 13 years since the last game was released, so fans are more than ready to dance in the moonlight once again. It's only coming to PC right now, but console versions should follow. The new Prince of Persia game isn't what we expected. The franchise has been in full 3D for its last couple entries, but The Lost Crown returns to the franchise's roots with a 2.5D look that plays mostly in 2D. Big budget 2D games aren't all that common anymore, but Ubisoft's investment comes shining through with a stunning game that features all the accoutrements of the Prince's prior outings, but from a different perspective. One thing that hasn't changed is his royalty's ability to manipulate time. This mechanic bleeds into both the combat and puzzle solving. Way back in the Nintendo DS era, there was a detective adventure called Another Code to Memories. It was a nominal hit, but for some reason its sequel, Lost Memories, was never released in the West. That's all fixed with Another Code Recollection, a remaster that combines both games into one product. Sleuth your way to the truth as you help Ashley Mizuki Robbins solve puzzles, gather clues, and investigate the traces of the past to uncover the fate of her parents. It's a high stakes investigation, and it's a Switch exclusive for now. It feels like we just played and tried to get over The Last of Us Part 2. It's a heady game that sticks with you long after you put the controller down. Now, we're forced to stuff the trauma for its remaster that's here just three and a half years after its original release. The game's visuals still hold up to this day, but Naughty Dog has decided to create this definitive edition so it can put it to rest for good. But it doesn't just look better. There's also a new mode called No Return, where you take on waves of the game's biggest baddies in a roguelite horde mode. It looks like a ton of fun, but we're still not sure we're ready to endure and ultimately enjoy the base game again just yet. Three years is not enough. Only certain people will remember a little first-person magic casting shooter called Hexen, but those who do have been begging for a new game in the series since Hexen 2 in 1997. Well, the wait is over. Kind of. While Microsoft has been teasing a new game the last few months, its spiritual successor is here right now. Graven includes all the tenets of the Hexen template, but tosses in cooperative play and plenty of new weapons. It's been in early access for years now, so it's had plenty of time in the oven. The timer has popped for PC right now, but console versions are coming later in the year. When we hear the name Arc System Works, we instantly think of the best 2D fighters on the market. While it's not the lead developer of Undernight in Birth 2, it's lent a hand, which is good enough for us. This seventh entry in the franchise features completely redesigned visuals, a new story, more playable characters, rollback netcode, and much more. 24 playable characters are on the roster at launch, including three completely new ones. The game also features simple inputs for beginners, new moves for all characters, and the brand new Creeping Edge and Celestial Vorpal systems to add some depth. We really hope you're ready to put on your thinking caps in January because Another Code Recollection isn't the only impending detective adventure. Apollo Justice Ace Attorney Trilogy launches for PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. This three-game collection includes Apollo Justice Ace Attorney, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies, and Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Spirit of Justice. This trio of games that was birthed on Nintendo's retro handhelds follows Apollo's growth as a lawyer as he navigates the dark age of the law. The visuals have received an HD upgrade, and there are tons of bonuses like an orchestra hall, an art library, and an animation studio. Plus, all the pre-order bonuses and extra costumes that popped up in the Court of Appeals. The Yakuza franchise has taken a turn-based, well, turn, with the Like a Dragon franchise. Formerly a 3D beat-em-up, 
this new spin-off series changes the mechanics while leaving the wacky permanently in place. In an added twist, Infinite Wealth adds yet another gameplay layer as it asks you to manage a resort on a beautiful island. Think Animal Crossing mashed up with the goofy Japanese game show MXC. One thing's for sure, there's no other game like it coming in January, or really the rest of the year. It's about as Japanese as a game gets, but its humor and flair transcend time zones. Tekken 7 revitalized the franchise after a couple ho-hum outings that put it in danger of appearing on milk cartons. It appeared at all the important fighting game tournaments and established a solid esports foundation. Hoping to build on that momentum is Tekken 8, the first game in the franchise for PS5 and Xbox Series consoles. And it shows. This is the first fighting game built on Unreal Engine 5, but it won't be the last. While Tekken is often known for its goofy single-player campaigns, this entry has played it kind of straight so far with its marketing. But we know we're just a few weeks away from taking on a dinosaur with boxing gloves, a wooden doll, and a bear with shoulder pads. Why does it seem like every other developer is making better Pokemon games than Nintendo and Game Freak? Temtem, Ooblets, Cassette Beasts, and many others have trumped Nintendo's cash cow in myriad ways, but they never enjoy the same sky-high sales. The next clone to enter the ring is Pal World. This open-world survival monster collecting game has you fighting, farming, building, riding, and working alongside mysterious creatures called pals. The job is much more dangerous though. You must risk your life to wipe out a group of poachers while trying to survive in its open-world wilderness. You're gonna get hungry, and sometimes your little pal friends end up on the menu. Thanks for checking out our rundown of the biggest and brightest video games of January 2024. There are so many other games to discover, so head on over to sifted.net where you tell us what you like and we deliver you a custom feed of gaming content. If you like what we're doing, head to patreon.com sifted and hook it up. We'll see you again in February when things really start to heat up. Thank <laughs> you.